Sam Harris. Uh, he has a BA in philosophy from Stanford, a PhD in cognitive neuroscience from UCLA. You might be familiar with some of his books, The End of Faith, Religion, Terror, and Future of Reason, Letter to a Christian Nation, The Moral Landscape, Lying Free Will, and now his most recent book, Waking Up, A Guide to Spirituality Without Religion. There's another thing that cuts against Mormonism, which many people have noticed, which is we just know too much about Joseph Smith to take him entirely seriously. We know he was a con man and a libidinous guy who just kept making up new revelations so that he'd get it on with the wives of his followers. I mean, there's, there's just too much information on him. Now, the, the history of, of Islam and, and Judaism and Christianity is cloaked in much less certainty than that. So you can, it's easy to romanticize who these guys were I but think this was, is a small point, Sam. But a, let me just but yeah, let no. me just say on that, I I look at it the exact opposite. Okay, so I know Joseph Smith was a charlatan. My favorite story is when he tells his wife, "Oh, uh, God talked to me, and it, it turns yeah. out I need to have sex with our maid." Right. Exactly. And she's like, "Oh, sure you do, buddy." And she's the first person not to believe in Mormonism. Right. The crucial point here is to recognize that specific beliefs have specific consequences, insofar as they're really believed. And that's all I'm ever talking about. So, for instance, you mentioned the Buddhists who are cutting people's heads off, right? You must be talking about the Buddhists in Myanmar. This, yep. this, this. Now, there is no connection between what they are doing and the doctrines of Theravada Buddhism. There are Muslims who do horrible things, and it has nothing to do with Islam, mm -hmm. right? They're just people. People mm -hmm. do horrible. If a, if, a, if a Muslim robs a liquor store. It's got very little to do with Islam, right? Very true. You know, and especially if he could just grabs a, a package of bacon on his way out as well. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not Islam. Another right? reason I left Islam. Who's killed more homosexuals in history? By yeah, far the, the Christians. The, the By Christians far. Christians are, are equally culpable on that front. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, well, not equally. Worse. Okay. Well, so, I, 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 wanting to kill homosexuals is... is, is Bad in both contexts. I mean, That's it's, exactly it's dangerous my point, to be. Wes. It's probably more I'm dangerous sorry. to be homosexual in the Muslim world at the moment. <laughs> Even though they both suck equally in terms of the, the barbarism that's in there, that seems mm -hmm. to be, it's, it can't. These texts can't be edited. So they're, they're, the, the barbarism of Leviticus and Deuteronomy is there for all time. Yeah. If you're a Christian or a Jew, uh, and likewise with the, with the Quran for Muslims, uh, but because of tiny differences in theology. The different groups have different tools available to them to ignore the barbarous passages for all time. So, for instance, the line you cited from Matthew, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar, unto God that, that which is God's, that is, is, is a huge and long lever that you can pull to just separate politics and religion. There is not the same logic of separating man's law from God's law in the, in the Quran and the Hadith and the example of Muhammad. The original Arab empire that was the rise of Islam was more liberal, was more scientific, more advanced than the Christians were at the time. So it is possible, and we have seen throughout history, when Muslims are more liberal, more scientific, more advanced. So what part of that is irredeemable? What part of that can, it makes it impossible to cherry pick the good parts? Okay. Well, you can cherry pick the good parts, and you can you can ignore the bad parts, and you can just not pay much attention to the doctrine, as as many many millions of Muslims that's clearly right. do, and that's that's a that's a great thing. You're talking about ages of the starkest ignorance, where people in you know, the bu bubonic plague is is ravaging Europe, and all the Christians can think to do is start cutting the tongues af out of blasphemers because they have no idea of, of how people get sick, and they just think blasphemy must be the cause, right? So, you're dealing with a completely a completely deranged religious world, and yes, then by comparison with Christianity at that point, Islam looks rather good. There are circumstances where Christians are behaving badly. And it's purely the result of their Christianity, right? So, Christians who go to sub Saharan Africa and preach the sinfulness of condom use in AIDS ravaged villages are doing something absolutely horrible that would be unthinkable but for this crazy Catholic dogma against contraception, right? So, this is pure, this is Catholicism in practice. Uh, it, and it, it, there's, you can draw a straight line from the doctrine to the behavior almost perfectly designed for export. You don't have to be affiliated with Al-Qaeda or anybody to get the, 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 the full meme downloaded into your brain. And it justifies a certain kind of behavior. If you, if, if you really believe that this book is the perfect word of the creator of the universe, if you really believe that martyrdom is, is the straight and only, only truly straight path to, to paradise, 
bypassing the day of judgment. If you really believe these things, and again, most secular liberals doubt that anyone believes these things, and that's a real impediment to thinking clearly about this, but if, if someone really believes these things, these become rational acts. Going to fight for ISIS becomes totally rational. You don't mm -hmm. have to be a depressed person that's hoping to, hoping to die. But when someone says, I wanted to get into paradise, right? I want the 72 virgins. I believe all this stuff. Someone like Robert Pape says, that's never the reason.